Cedar waxwings are the masked bandits of the backyard. They live year-round in the northern half of the United States. Those breeding in southern Canada migrate to the southern U.S., Mexico, and Central America for the winter. Cedar waxwings are medium-sized birds with a pale brown head and chest, soft gray wings and tail, and a lemon-yellow belly. The black face mask is edged with white. The short square tail is trimmed with yellow. Juvenile birds like this one are mostly light brown and a bit streaky. The bird's name comes from the cedar berries they eat in the winter and the red wax-like secretions on the tips of their wing feathers that result from their diet. Older birds have more red than juvenile birds, so the waxy tips may serve as a mark of experience when the birds start choosing mates. Though these are fairly common birds, they're easy to overlook because of their soft colors. But waxwings like to hang out in flocks, so if you see one, you're likely to see more nearby. Cedar waxwings do not have a song. You have to listen carefully to hear their high-pitched trills and thin whistles. Cedar waxwings flit among branches, gulping berries down whole, and they supplement their diet with insects during the summer. They breed later in the year than most birds to take advantage of ripening fruits. If the berries become overripe and ferment, the birds can even get a little drunk. But it's all business for a mated pair in June when they scout for the best fork in a tree or bush to build their nest. The female picks the final site and does most of the building, making as many as 2,500 trips over five or six days to weave twigs, grass, flowers, and fur into a bulky nest cup. The female lays two to six pale blue or gray spotted eggs. After she incubates them for about two weeks, the blind, naked, helpless chicks hatch. They grow fast, though, and are ready to leave the nest after another two weeks. The same mated pair may produce a second brood in the same season. Cedar waxwing numbers are increasing as shrubs and trees reclaim farmland and as humans plant native fruit-bearing plants that attract this delightfully exotic-looking species.